Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the best practices for landing page design. Now, I have this uh, beautiful design file which is uh, called uh, Sark, and uh, it's uh, a kit that uh, you can find on UI8. By the way, the very first thing that I want to talk about is the hero section. And uh, even before we jump uh, onto the best practices of the hero section, which is uh, the very most important part of a landing page is you wanted to focus on the high level picture before you actually design anything or even wireframe anything because at the end of the day landing pages and websites are there for one reason and one reason only and that is communication so you wanted to communicate in a crystal clear way what is the most important uh, messages uh, and uh, elements uh, that uh, your website needs to communicate, aka what uh, is uh, the client's uh, service uh, or products, uh, uh, what is that about? And uh, you have to have a clear idea on uh, what uh, that is, that uh, it's important uh, even before you jump into the wireframing and the design. So one exercise that I always uh, like to do is to think about things uh, in terms of uh, a hierarchy. So at the top uh, of the hierarchy, and uh, you can almost uh, visualize it uh, in terms of a gradient uh, so that you can uh, more easily understand what uh, I'm referring to. So we're going to simply keep uh, like that. So at the very top of the gradient, uh, which is this green area, um, this is going to be the top section of a landing page, for example. And uh, on the bottom, here we're going to have elements such as the footer and whatnot. So the users, the um, audience is going to arrive uh, at the very top of the landing page. And here you have to communicate in a very short amount of time the most important concept about uh, that, that is actually going to sell them the uh, idea to continue utilizing the website or even better, call, uh, clicking on a call to action in order to uh, purchase or contact the business and um, essentially get uh, the ROI for the business. So this is kind of like the mind frame that uh, you need to have uh, from a high level whenever you're approaching uh, any website page. Uh, and uh, this uh, is uh, not only applicable for the individual page, uh, because uh, of course you can see about it, you can think about it as a landing page, but this uh, is applicable to the entire hierarchy of uh, uh, the website that you're building. So for example, over here, you can uh, see how this is going to apply also to the other sub pages and uh, you can create and uh, go through this logic uh, in the same way with uh, pretty much the entire uh, website. So you can see how flexible this uh, line of thinking is. And uh, <clears throat> as we jump into the uh, main section of the page, which is going to be the hero. You want to be straight to the point and communicate what uh, is uh, going to be the most important thing uh, for the user to understand in order to really bring business home. And uh, on top of that, uh, you want to have clear call to actions. I cannot tell you how many times uh, I see designers uh, create these uh, beautiful designs uh, with uh, amazing uh, UI um, designs and uh, you know subtle animations and whatnot uh, but then we're missing uh, a call to action which is the button in order that is going to help uh, the user to actually proceed and uh, you know get started or uh, purchase the product or service so that is going to be something that uh, you have to keep in mind uh, at all times. Uh, and um, yeah, you want to essentially make it easy for, for the user to understand and then take action. So after that, um, you just want to consider keeping the information uh, cleaner. So there isn't really 
uh, a right or wrong way or sections that you should always include uh, in uh, each and every landing page or web page uh, because that is going to uh, highly depend. There are of course uh, uh, elements which are going to be recurring patterns such as social proof, uh, uh, like in this case where we have logos, social proof is something that uh, you want to integrate in uh, most scenarios as well as uh, elements such as uh, you know feature sections uh, and um, elements uh, that are related to the company background or the about us section so that is really going to depend uh, based uh, on uh, the type of project that you're working on what makes sense uh, for the project but uh, it all comes down to reverse engineering uh, the gradient uh, uh, that uh, we work that we discussed uh, at the beginning of the video because this is where the real um, essence uh, of uh, a UX uh, architecture, a solid UX architecture lies in. And uh, one of the things that uh, I like to do with clients especially is to hop on uh, calls and uh, start asking the, a lot of questions about the business, about the audience. I want to understand what the success looks like, what the failure looks like, and um, what is the main pain points that uh, their users are experiencing so that then we can ideally reverse engineer the uh, communication around uh, the pain points and the ideal state scenario which are essential and uh, evergreen laws of marketing so this is uh, the basics uh, when it comes to landing page from a high level we're going to go in uh, more detail in uh, future videos about some of the specifics uh, of the sections but uh, i just wanted to keep uh, this video short and sweet uh, and uh, kind of give you a high level understanding and thinking uh, around uh, what uh, is needed in order to create uh, a great landing page design and then we're going to um, possibly go in uh, future videos in uh, the depth of uh, colors typography layout uh, and uh, all those elements which are essentially supportive elements uh, to the core communication uh, strategy which uh, we established previously so all of those uh, design elements which uh, you're familiar with uh, and that uh, you love utilizing uh, or simply supporting elements on top of uh, having that clear uh, strategic uh, framework so that's uh, pretty much it for this video i hope it was helpful if you have any questions in particular regarding landing page designs uh, and uh, web design um, feel free to leave them in the comment section and uh, if you want to learn more i have over 900 videos entirely for free on my channel which uh, you can check out i myself am a designer with over a decade of experience and uh, yeah if you want to learn more about uh, this uh, feel free to check them out uh, and i'll see you in the very next video